Hi everyone, in this video we are going to prove that the orthocenter, centroid and circumcenter of a triangle are all collinear and also the centroid divides that line joining the orthocenter and the circumcenter in 2 is to 1 ratio. Let's suppose we have a triangle ABC where the side length AB is denoted by lowercase c units and side length BC is denoted by lowercase a units and side length AC is denoted by lowercase b units. And similarly, angle BAC is denoted by uppercase A radian, angle ABC is denoted by uppercase B radian and angle BCA is denoted by uppercase C radian. First, I am going to draw the perpendiculars from each of the vertices so that we get the orthocenter. Let's suppose AD is the first perpendicular from the vertex A onto the opposite side BC and let's suppose BE is the second perpendicular which is from the vertex B onto the opposite side AC and CF is the third one it is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex C onto the opposite side AB and their point of intersection will be the orthocenter and I have denoted that with an uppercase H. Next I am going to draw the medians so that we can locate the centroid. We have the first median which is AJ and the second median is BK and the third median is CL and the point of intersection of the medians is denoted by uppercase G which is the centroid. Next I am going to draw the perpendicular bisectors for each of the sides. I have drawn the first one for the BC side and then the second one for the AC side and the third one for the AB side. And let's assume that the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors is O which is usually the letter used to denote the circumcenter. Now I am going to remove some of these lines and keep only the necessary ones. So as you can see I have kept one altitude and one median and one perpendicular bisector. Next I am going to join these points. In fact I am going to join H and O. We don't know if G will be collinear with H and O that is something that we are going to prove. So initially let's assume that we don't know where G is whether it's on the same line or not on the same line. So let's assume that we are just joining H and O. So we have connected H and O by a line segment and it looks like G is on that line and in fact G will be on that line but somehow we have to prove that yes G is on that line meaning H, G and O they are collinear that's something we are going to prove. I have made a note here that H is the orthocenter, G is the centroid and O is the circumcenter and we are going to prove that HO the line segment HO divides the median AJ in 2 is to 1 ratio at point G. If we can somehow prove this then obviously G will be on the same line if we can prove that HO is dividing the line AJ or the median AJ in 2 is to 1 ratio at point G that means G will be on the same line segment and that's exactly what we are going to prove now. Next we are going to look at some similarities between the two small triangles there triangle AHG and the triangle G J O. If we look at the two angles there H G A and the angle J G O they are actually vertical angles they are vertically opposite angles so they will be equal. Similarly if we look at the angles H A G and G J O they are actually alternate angles between two parallel lines because A D and J O they will be parallel they both are perpendicular on the side B C. So A D and O J will be parallel and then if we consider A J as a transversal then the angle A H A G and the angle G J O they will be equal they will be the alternate angles. So we see that two pairs of corresponding angles are equal that means the third angle will also be equal between the two triangles because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So if two of the angles are equal to the two corresponding angles in the other triangle then the only angle left which is the third one that will also be equal between the two triangles. So I have made a note that the angle A H G will be equal to angle G O J. So essentially we see that between these two triangles the pair of corresponding corresponding angles are all equal that means these two triangles are similar triangles. I have made a note of that on the left hand side that the triangle AHG and the triangle GJO they are actually similar triangles. Now that we have been able to prove that those two triangles are similar now we can use the side length ratio property of similar triangle. So we can say HG over GO this ratio will be equal to AH over OJ also that will be equal to AG over GJ 
from here if we take the last part of the proportionality here can we write it as a g over g j is equal to a h over o j now what is a h well a h is the distance of the ortho center from the vertex a and in one of the previous videos we have seen that the distance of ortho center from vertex a will be equal to 2 r times cosine of a where r is the circum radius so in place of a h i have written 2 times r times cosine of a divided by what is o j well o j is again the distance of the circum center from the side b c and in one of the previous videos we have seen that the distance of circum center from the side b c would be equal to r times cosine of a r is of course the circum radius and here you can see that the r times cosine of a in the numerator and in the denominator they are going to cancel out each other so we are going to be left with just 2 and from here we can clearly see that the ratio of a g is to g j is equal to 2 is to 1 now what does that mean well that means the line segment h o divided the median a j in 2 is to 1 ratio at the point g that means g is also on the same line segment as h and o so h g o these three points are actually collinear which means the orthocenter, the centroid and the circumcenter they are actually three collinear points and next we are going to prove that also g divides the line segment h o in 2 is to 1 ratio so let's do that we are going to use the other proportionality here because we have been able to prove that a g is to g j is equal to 2 is to 1 then we can definitely say that h g over g o is also equal to a g over g j which we have just proved to be 2 and from here we can say that the ratio of h g is to g o is definitely 2 is to 1 which means that the centroid is also dividing the line segment h o in 2 is to 1 ratio you and hg portion would be 2 so let me make a note right here that this is 2 and this portion is 1 so that is how the centroid is dividing the line segment that joins the ortho center and the circum center in 2 is to 1 ratio so our first proof was to show that centroid is on the same line segment as h and o and the second proof that we wanted to do is that the centroid also divides that line segment connecting h and o which are the ortho center and the circum center the centroid divides the line segment in 2 is to 1 ratio both our proofs are complete now hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video